quickly round of information and uh, mostly politics from Europe. European leaders are taking their fight against illegal migration a notch higher. This week, leaders from African countries like Libya, Chad and Niger met with their European counterparts in France to discuss how to reduce the influx of illegal migrants into Europe by targeting the smugglers who traffic these people and also creating legal roads. Uh, some 125,000 migrants have crossed the Mediterranean by boats this year and an estimated 2,400 have died en route. Let's get more from Germany where political correspondent for our partner DW Kate Brody is standing by. Hello Kate, help us with a bit of a background to this meeting. Well, the main aim of the meeting in Versailles on Monday was really to discuss what European and African leaders have described as a new relationship to slow illegal migration into Europe. Of course, there were many options discussed on Monday. Um, one of the main options, of course, um, was actually to use uh, perhaps development aid to create more opportunities for migrants in their home countries. Um, and on top of that, another financial option being discussed is more uh, financial financial aid from European countries uh, to help boost your uh, African um, economies and in doing that um, also combat poverty. Of course here back in Europe, um, European leaders are still trying to find a long-term solution to handle migration, particularly since um, the 2015 refugee crisis. And many Mediterranean countries, um, especially Greece and Italy, are still really struggling at the moment as they're being forced um, to take the overwhelming majority of migrants, uh, many of whom, of course, have traveled uh, from Africa via the Mediterranean. So the, the real key aim um, of the meeting on Monday was to define those priorities of both European and African leaders. Right. Well, so while they're discussing this, they, we know that they also spoke about creating, especially from the France leader, creating hotspots, for example, for asylum seekers to, so to speak, prevent uh, them from taking the illegal routes that are available and by so doing falling in the hands of these uh, traffickers. How exactly do they expect that to deal with the problem at hand? Well, as you said, this is an actual uh, proposal that's been put forward by the French President Emmanuel Macron. Um, and the idea is that different route hotspots would be set up, um, for example, in countries such as Libya or Niger, which are often used on a migrant route um, to travel uh, via the Mediterranean to Europe, um, so that migrants could register and request to then travel on uh, to Europe. Um, one key factor, of course, uh, which has been highlighted as well by the German cities were to go ahead, would be that these w uh, should only actually be available um, to migrants migrants uh, fleeing the country or leaving their country on humanitarian grounds and not purely um, economic grounds, which of course is one of um, the problems which uh, European um, leaders and European countries are having to deal with at the moment um, due to the sheer number um, of migrants travelling there when they're differentiating between who's travelled as an economic migrant and who is travelling um, under um, for humanitarian reasons. It's it's a very uh, hot political season, I must say, at the moment in Germany. How has Germans responded to this this kind of uh, uh, meeting and the the, uh, the objective of this meeting? How has the response been like? I don't know if you're able to speak to the response from across Europe, but we can still deal with, especially Germany. Yeah, well, of course, at the moment, the, uh, the, the refugee crisis and the ongoing uh, situation we're dealing with immigration, uh, not only in Europe, but particularly in Germany, is still a very hot topic. We're in the middle of the campaign, uh, the election campaigns here, um, and many people are still skeptical um, of the handling of the refugee crisis, and particularly um, Chancellor Angela Merkel's decision two years ago to open uh, German borders. But one of the main um, concerns now for, for in Germany um, is that the, the numbers um, of migrants arriving here are actually slowly reducing. Berlin still expects around 300,000 um, asylum seekers to arrive here this year, which of course is a huge uh, decrease when we look back on 2015 um, when we hit nearly 900,000. But one of the main concerns here now, in fact, is actually the integration of these migrants over the coming years. Um, and that means a 
ensuring that um, children um, are given um, the uh, the right education and also that adults are provided with the right access um, to reach the labor market so that they can get into work as quickly as possible but uh, at the moment this is proving to be um, a huge obstacle in Germany uh, not least of all because of the huge bureaucracy um, which is faced here um, and of course integration isn't something that's going to happen overnight this is something that could now take years if not decades to achieve not only in Germany but ac across Europe okay thank you very much I hope that uh, uh, journalists as well are also preparing themselves very well as you look forward to the elections and you included again ready for the elections uh, in September thank you all right Kate Brady is political correspondent with our partner DW bringing us up to speed on what's happening across Europe of course we're focusing on uh, the issue of migration and how European leaders are looking to deal with it. You're still watching the polls with me, Gifty, and up here.